I'm going to recreate Barca's all-time 11 using the Youth Academy system only. We will go position by position, identify the best for that position in Barca's history and try to scout the youth talent as similar to that player as possible. Starting with the goalkeeper position. And there are two Spanish keepers that are considered as the best in Barcelona's history. First being Andoni Subisareta, who still holds the record for the most games played in the Spanish first division. The second choice for us will be Victor Valdez, who was the goalie of the Peps Barcelona, most probably the best Barca team ever. The goal of this video is to win the Champions League with youth talents, but that is not going to be easy, as I decimated Barca squad, got rid of all the best players they have and put them into the second division. Hopefully we can be promoted soon, especially as we have already found first player for our team. Alvaro Ponce, 2.7 million market value, 85 to 94 potential, he is looking absolutely cracked for a goalie. Already 64 rated at the age of 16, he is exactly what we needed. And we also got this guy Umberto Herrera, low market value on him, although he has a good potential. He is 56 rated right now, with good stats already. He can be a great backup in the goalkeeper position. Next up we set a scouting mission in Netherlands to find a playmaking center attacking midfielder. Although Messi holds nearly every record for the club and he is the best player in Barcelona's history. But I believe the most influential player was the flying Dutchman. Johan Cruyff both as a footballer and especially as a coach changed the philosophy of the club and pretty much created the Barca identity we all recognize now. So the next target is to find a player who will represent him in our fantasy. Team. And we got a great candidate for that. Joris Bakker, 1.2 million market value, up to 94 potential. He's naturally a right winger, 64 rated, but we are going to change his position to Cam. Although most of the time Cruyff were playing closer to attack, in our formation, we are going to use Bakker as a center attacking midfielder. Next player we are trying to replicate in our team, did play 750 games for Barca, was the captain, the manager of the team, of course his name is Xavi, as well as this guy's name, Xavi Castillo, but it doesn't look good at all. On the contrary, Daniel Silva, 2.2 million euros market value, 75 to 94 potential, 65 rated central midfielder, he will suit our midfield quite comfortably. Another Dutchman. Ronald Koeman is a player who literally won the first ever Champions League trophy for Barca and was so versatile on the pitch, so I had to scout for a technically gifted center back in Netherlands. And we have found this talent. Justin Deleu, only 240,000 market value, but up to 94 potential. And just look at his stats. He is 52 rated center back with only 49 defending and literally the stats of an attacker. Any other time, I would have converted him to play up front but for the sake of this video we are going to stick to his position and develop him as much as we can as we are in january transfer window let's promote these guys to the senior team and loan them out for a half of the season next up we are going to scout in argentina for the technically gifted right winger hopefully we can find an exceptional talent to represent the goat himself in our team and i think we did rafa cabrera 3.2 million market value the most expensive player we have found yet 67 rated already wow also a lefty i would say he is a perfect match maybe except for pace but anyways i'm very happy with this talent next we decided to scout in Brazil to find a right wing back. I think everybody will agree that Daniel Alves was the best in his position for Barca. Such an incredible duo they had with Messi. And we have found a very interesting player right away. White haired Rafael Moraes. 775,000 market value, 84 to 94 potential. He is 58 rated right back with impressive attacking capabilities. And as you know, there were a particular Brazilian with in the left flank of the Barca's attack, the incredible magician Ronaldinho Gaúcho. So I decided to convert Moraes to a left winger. And he went up 11 in his rating, becoming the highest rated talent we have found so far. 
and to represent Daniel Alves in our team, I decided to go with Leonardo Pinto. Low market value, but good potential. His default position is a center back. He's 54 rated, but again, he is a player with great attacking capabilities. So let's convert him to a right back and work on his defending. For the CDM position, we are heading to Spain once again. Our youth talent is going to represent Sergio Busquets in our fantasy team. In my opinion, he is such an underrated player. He was so good on the ball, used to scan the pitch perfectly and had a massive impact on each and every game he played. Anyways, Diego Marquez is the player we chose to go with. Again, when you scout for a playmaker or technically gifted players in defensive positions, you always get talents with atrocious defending. But I think we can work with Marquez. We also found Oscar Santana, 1.1 million euros market value and up to 94 potential. 16 years old CDM with great passing and good dribbling stats. And we are going to convert him to a central midfielder, cause we needed one to represent Andres Iniesta in our team, one of my favorite players of all time. And to be fair, Santana looks great after conversion, going up by 8 in his rating. Slowly but surely we approach the end of the first season, finishing just outside of the top 6. On the bright side, we do have a good growth on our players on loan. I hope we are going to finish our scouting mission in the second season itself. And for that the first step is done. We have found a striker for our team in Uruguay, just like Barca did in 2014 to complete MSN, one of the best trios we have ever seen in football. Luis Suarez has ridiculous stats for Barca, almost 300 goal contributions in 283 games. This talent that we have found better be good. His name is Joaquin Mercado, 61 rated center forward, but we can convert him to a striker easily in two weeks. Next up, we are going to fix our defense. And for that we are heading to Spain again, as we have two candidates there. Definitely a symbol of the club, a true leader and the captain, Carlos Puyol. And right next to him, Gerard Pique of course, who carried Barca's defense on his shoulders after Puyol's retirement. And after three months scouting, we have found these two guys, Pedro Carmona and Oyer Castillo, so we are sorted in the center of the defense as well. To complete the first 11, we have found a left back in Spain to represent Jordi Alba in our team. Barca always had a problem in the left back position and there weren't many players to choose from. But we have found one talent already and I think Eduardo Nieto will suit our team just fine. To fill the bench as well, we scouted throughout these two years in different countries like Bulgaria to find a new Stoichkov, in Hungary for a region of Laszlo Kubala, the first super sub player Barca has ever Ahead. We also have found Mexican center back Manuel Ramos for Rafa Marquez, Ivorian defensive midfielder Sako for Yaya Toure, and another African, Sheikh Ibrahim for Samuel Eto'o. With the addition of these players to the team, our scouting mission is officially over. Let's jump straight to the end of the season and check the results. We ended up the regular season on the 6th position, but we lost the promotion playoff semi-finals to Levante on penalties. That is not too bad actually, as we will have one more season to develop our players in the second tier league. In terms of individual performances, Moraes was the best with 21 goals, others were a little less effective in front of the goal. But in terms of development, our players on loan did well, especially Pinto and Santana. And they are actually starters in the beginning of the third season. As we accomplished our team already, let's simulate and see whether we can gain automatic promotion. And yes we do! Second place after Osasuna with 90 points, that is awesome! But in the Copa del Rey, Burgos beat us instantly in the first round. The La Liga winners are Real Madrid, as expected. Moraes got the most goals for us, but this was a much better season from Mercado and Cabrera as well. Let's hope they can deliver in the La Liga next season. This team is looking quite good, the lowest rated player is Marquez in the CDM position, but hopefully our attack is good enough to secure the spot in the top flight for one more season. Obviously, we are good enough for the La Liga, 11th place is pretty good for the first season. And we even reached the round of 16 in the Copa del Rey, that's an improvement in my books. But in terms of individual performances, we look not as good as I hoped for. We had to improve massively to earn a European football spot next season. As you can see by the stats, our player's growth was probably the best thing of the previous season. And look at the playstyles and playstyle classes some of our players have already developed. Surely this team is capable of finishing top 6.
And even better, we are second in the league, only a single win behind Real Madrid, who also beat us in the Copa del Rey semi-finals on the away goal rule. But luckily for us, no trouble for them. Liverpool beat Biancos in the UCL final on penalties. This time Mercado and Cabrera outscored everybody in the team and Marash had a stinker of a season. I hope next season is going to be ours, as we are progressing extremely fast. And as a result, we dominated the La Liga, winning it with 10 points margin over Real Madrid. What a run from us! We have won the second trophy as well, Supercopa de España. But sadly, no Copa del Rey for us. And Real Madrid lost second Champions League final back to back on penalties. How unrealistic is this simulation? This time it is Joris Becker, who was the MVP of the season alongside Mercado. Moraes underdelivered once again. That's not acceptable. We need everybody to score and assist so we can win the treble next season. And for that, the first part is done. 91 points in the La Liga, even better than the previous season. But sadly we lost to our bitter rivals Real Madrid in the Copa del Rey final. That is too bad. No Supercopa de España for us as well, so we are left with the Champions League only, where we topped the group with 2 wins and 4 draws, got past Celtic in the round of 16, smashed Leverkusen 4-0 on aggregate in the quarterfinals and eliminated PSG in the semis to reach the final, where we are going to face Manchester City. Yeah, Yes, this is what I was talking about. Four players got over 20 goals in the season. Rafa Cabrera leading the line. All those citizens do have a great squad. It is nowhere near the level of ours. Three players rated 94. The lowest rated player is Carmona with 87 rating. This is actually a super team. So let's win this Champions League trophy. The team on paper is indeed magnificent, but in reality, Haaland opened the score already in the ninth minute directly from a free kick. But to be fair, our team responded quite early in the first half and had a massive chance to equalize 10 minutes later. But Anatoly Trubin made a massive save to keep City's lead. And trust me, you are going to hear that name again and again during this game. Right after that save, Bakker delivered the ball perfectly from a corner, but again an outrageous save from Trubin and Marquez missed the open net from a tight angle. In a 41st minute, Moraes found himself in a killer position and another huge huge save from Trubin. Manchester City were so lucky not to concede there. In the beginning of the second half, Cabrera tried to shoot near post from 7 meters, but again, Trubin with a save. This bad luck continued until the 65th minute, when after a very well played combination, Moraes finally found the net, equalizing the score. And I thought that was the breaking point of the game, and we got an advantage there. But soon enough, the second shot from Manchester City in the game hit the back of the net one more time. I'm not sure what our goalkeeper was thinking about. Anyways, it was tough to concede again, but we continued to create a killer chances. And to be fair, I cannot understand how 94 rated Moraes missed from that position. That's unacceptable to say at least. But there were a little bit of time left in this game and we created most probably the best chance of the game in the 88th minute. But this time Mercado has been denied by a post, battling our fifth big chance of the night. Such a shambolic performance from our attackers. And that was it. Manchester City were crowned as the Champions League winners and we were settled as the biggest butlers in Barca's history. If you like this concept, please let me know under the comments below which team to use next.